Uh, this flight, uh, if it does take off today, will have just a tiny handful of the dozens that you were expecting to be on that flight. It's not really a deterrent message to the people traffickers, is it? Uh, we always said that this was going to be a long process. If you remember when I first announced the policy, I said it would take a long time to get going and there would be plenty of legal challenges, there would be bumps on the road. But I think what opponents of the policy have to, to say is, well, what is your alternative? What is your alternative to uh, people being shipped across the channel in very frail, unseaworthy dinghies, uh, risking their lives and undermining the rule of law? What's your alternative? We think it's a, a sensible partnership we've set up with Rwanda, yes, it may, it may take a while uh, to, to get working properly, but it doesn't mean we're not going to keep going. Hundreds more have arrived today, clearly, from the people trafficking point of view. It's worth the risk, isn't it, if only a tiny handful are going to be going in the very near future, perhaps into the medium term? I think it's very important that we continue to show the people traffickers that their business case is going to lead, is, is being undermined, and that they're cheating people. and They're not only risking... Uh, their lives, uh, sending them across the sea in, uh, in unseaworthy vessels, as, as I say, but they're also uh, running the risk of them uh, being sent to another country which they hadn't bargained for, and they're fundamentally ripping them off. And uh, that's the message we need to get, get across uh, to those people traffickers. You predicted yourself that there would be all these legal challenges, and true enough, here we're seeing them. Is it not time to come out of the U European Convention of Human Rights to be able to set your own rules, to stack the odds in your favour then when these legal challenges come about? It's certainly the case that uh, the legal uh, fraternity, sorority, whatever, the, the legal world is very good at picking up uh, ways of, uh, of trying to stop uh, the government from upholding what we think is is a, a sensible law and trying to we're trying to make a distinction between uh, legal pathways to the UK which we support we want people to be able to come here in fear of their lives but we want them to do it legally and safely and that's why we have all the safe and legal routes that are open to to people what we want to do is to show the people traffickers that uh, they're, they're breaking the law they're risking people's lives and it won't work anyway now uh, if, will it be necessary to ch change some laws to help us uh, as we go along? It may very well be, and uh, all these options are under constant review.